In this video, I'm going to show you how to calculate the surface area of cuboids. Now a cuboid is a three-dimensional cube-like shape with a total of one, two, three, four, five, six faces. And surface area is the total area of each of those faces. Now in this case, our 3D shape is a cube. So calculating the area of each of the faces of the cube will not be so complicated. Since the size of one of the faces of a cube, which is a square, is the same as all of the other faces of the cube, which are also squares. So in this example, the length, width, and height of our cube is five centimeters. Again, since each of the faces are squares, calculating the area of one of the squares will give us the area of all of the squares. And to calculate the area of a square, we use the formula L multiplied by L, which stands for length multiplied by length. So that is the length of the bottom of the square, five centimeters, multiplied by the length of the side or height of the square, also five centimeters. And five centimeters multiplied by five centimeters equals 25 centimeters squared. And since 25 centimeters squared is the area of one of the squares that make up our cube, that means that each of the squares is also 25 centimeters squared. And remember, surface area is the total area of each of the sides of our figure combined. And since each of the six squares that make up our cube has the area 25 centimeters squared, we can multiply the area of one of the squares by six to get the total surface area of the cube, which is 150 centimeters squared. So the surface area of this cube is 150 centimeters squared. Okay, let's calculate the surface area of one more cuboid. Remember, cuboids have a total of one, two, three, four, five, six faces. And to get the surface area, we need to calculate the area of each of those faces. So, in this case, our 3D shape is a rectangular prism. So calculating the area of each of the faces of the figure this time is gonna require a little bit more work than our first example. So in this example, our figure is nine centimeters long, six centimeters wide, and seven centimeters high. So let's start by calculating the area of the face in the front of our figure, which we can see is a rectangle. And the formula for calculating the area of a rectangle is B multiplied by H, which stands for base multiplied by height. The base, which is the length of the bottom of the rectangle is nine centimeters. And the height, which is the length of the side of the rectangle is the same as the length on the opposite side, which is seven centimeters. So let's place that into our formula. And nine centimeters multiplied by seven centimeters equals 63 centimeters squared. So the area of the front of the rectangular prism is 63 centimeters squared. And this means that the area of the back of the rectangular prism is also 63 centimeters squared. So let's calculate the area of the front and the back of the rectangular prism by multiplying the area of the front by two. And 63 centimeters squared multiplied by two equals 126 centimeters squared. Now, let's calculate the area of the face on the top of our figure, which we can see is a rectangle as well. Again, 
The formula for calculating the area of a rectangle is base multiplied by height. The base, which is the length of the bottom of the rectangle, is the same as the length on the opposite side, which we can see is nine centimeters. So let's place that into our formula. And the height, which is the length of the side of the rectangle, is the same as the length on the opposite side, which we can see is six centimeters. So let's place that into our formula as well. And nine centimeters multiplied by six centimeters equals 54 centimeters squared. So the area of the top of the rectangular prism is 54 centimeters squared. And this means that the area at the bottom of the rectangular prism is also 54 centimeters squared. So let's calculate the area of the top and bottom of the rectangular prism by multiplying the area of the top by two. And 54 centimeters squared multiplied by two equals 108 centimeters squared. And last, let's calculate the area of the face on the side of our figure, which is also a rectangle. So again, to calculate the area of a rectangle, we need to use a formula base multiplied by height. And the base, which is the length of the bottom of the rectangle, is six centimeters. And the height, which is the length of the side of the rectangle, is seven centimeters. And six multiplied by seven equals 42 centimeters squared. So the area of the right side of the rectangular prism is 42 centimeters squared. And this means the area on the left side of the rectangular prism is also 42 centimeters squared. So let's calculate the area of the left and right side of our rectangular prism by multiplying the area of the right side by two. And 42 centimeters squared multiplied by two equals 84 centimeters squared. Now, when we add the area of all six sides of the rectangular prism, we get a total surface area of 318 centimeters squared. So the surface area of the rectangular prism is 318 centimeters squared. So this is how we calculate the surface area of cuboids. Mm -hmm.